morning, Pastor Steve here. 2 Corinthians 3, verses 4 through 6. And such trust have we through Christ to Godward, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God, who also has made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. The letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. In the same vein of needing grace to come alive in Christ, we see the need of trusting God. Trust in God starts when we stop depending on our own strength, on our own works and our own might. We live in a world where trust, uh, we seems, has to be earned and is in short supply. But Solomon said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he'll direct your paths. Uh, the trials of life with, with other people may make us think we can only uh, depend upon ourselves. It seems like that. But living the life God has called us means unlearning that lesson. We're meant to rest in, in God's care and understanding. We may know in our minds that he possesses all wisdom. You know, the depths of the riches of his wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments and his past beyond um, tracing out, Romans 11 says. But sometimes trusting him completely like that can be tough. So each day we must consciously lay aside our own plans and our own expectations and surrender to his plans. But if we don't feel like we can trust him like that? We have to surrender to him. That begins with our thoughts. We need more than, than a commitment to depend on him. We need to cry out to him and show that dependence, Lord, I need you. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he'll make your path straight, as we said. When we pray, we admit that his ways are higher than ours. We show that we're leaving our troubles and our burdens and our dreams in his hands. In fact, the Bible promises that when we reach out in prayer, he hears us. Evening, morning, and noon, the psalmist said, I cry out in distress, and he hears my we are handed the keys of our lives over to him. And we know that he is able to direct us and lead us. One of my most oft-repeated verses of late as I face a bit of stress in the path is Isaiah 26, 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in me. It comes a peace when I realize that I can't do this and only God can. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.